A short distance from the water intake, we find something curious that interrupts the normal shape of the conduit. After a quick look, a modern technician would be able to see exactly what it was for. The water reached here from the source and came to a widening in the form of an inspection hatch and a bypass. The guide marks carved in the stone show us that there were sluice gates here. Straight away we can see that if we close this sluice gate and open the other, the water will be diverted, leaving the aqueduct dry. We can easily reconstruct how it worked. The sluice gates were not only used to divert all the water and leave the aqueduct dry, but also to regulate its flow by sluicing off any undesired amount. From here, the conduit continued to neem, facing the challenges of the terrain.